Budget Blinds. Visit their showroom or call today for a free in-home consultation. This is New Cap News with Jeremy Thompson. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We begin tonight with an update from a robbery at the Dewberry Hotel and Bar earlier this week. RCMP have identified a suspect. A warrant is now out for 33-year-old Ashley Allen Cadrain. Around 9.30 Sunday night, Cadrain demanded money from the bartender at the till in the bar in Dewberry and left with an undisclosed amount of cash. He pepper sprayed a patron on the way out as well. He then fled in a vehicle going north out of Dewberry, driven by another person. The investigation is ongoing, and if you have any information on Cadrain's whereabouts, you're asked to call Kit Scotty RCMP at 780-846-2870 or Crime Stoppers. Well, plenty of parents and children gathered at the Surf Sports Center earlier today to celebrate National Child Day, a tribute that is recognized throughout the country and one that is dedicated to the rights of children. Not to mention there were plenty of fun activities that kept the little ones entertained for hours. Chris Chacon has more. I'm having a lot of fun hanging out with other kids and it's just fun. Caleb Walker is one of many who took part in this year's National Child Day. He and his family volunteered hours of their time to make something special for kids to play with. Me, my mom, dad and my brother made the box maze with a lot of tape and boxes. The maze was one of many activities featured at the event. The coalition is hosting a National Child Day celebration both to celebrate the rights of children as well as to provide an opportunity for parents and children to come out and play. <laughs> As fun as the activities are, they are geared to help children overcome social and emotional challenges that can emerge at early ages. One in three children is arriving at school already experiencing challenges. Challenges that can be defeated by social interaction. What we know from the research, what we know in our community is that social and emotional development is really fundamental to success for children. It's opportunities like this that give children the chance to interact with others. I'm super happy to have my children here. They're, they're interacting, they're doing different things, they're playing with different people. Having so many technological distractions nowadays, such as iPads, TV, video games, and much more, this day is aimed at right, promoting the importance of good old-fashioned human interaction. Chris Chacon, New Cab News. When it comes to sports, every kid has a favorite, but thanks to a large donation from RBC, young athletes in Lloydminster will be able to broaden their horizons when it comes to physical activity this summer. The obligatory giant check presentation was made today at the Service Sports Centre as part of Sports Day. $10,000 will go towards city-run summer camps at the Multiplex this year. The money comes from RBC's Learn to Play Community Action Grant. The goal is, of course, is always to get kids out, get active, and, you know, when in conjunction with participation and such as, as such, uh, we're hopeful that it, it really will help grow the program, um, allow them to buy the equipment, the tools that they need to be successful. Centre manager Joel Turcott says the Sports Explorer Camp was a favourite last year, but because of the unconventional sports kids get to try, they often have equipment shipped into town from Edmonton or from Saskatoon. The whole program, the whole camp is about getting kids to do other sports. So if it's a hockey player, maybe uh, we're going to try to get them into soccer, baseball, teaching them. Some, some kids don't even know what they want to play yet. Table tennis was featured at this sports day this year in an effort to get kids interested. A full list of summer camps will be available on the city's website later this winter.